Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mushroom with Genghis. Going to look at the magic class now. It is a fun one, but it does need to be upgraded. It's not really nerfed, it's just never got off the ground. But we're looking at both paths here, Prophet and Dark Lord. Let's go over them really quickly. Basically, Prophet has more built-in stun and skill regeneration. This one's really interesting. The more you stun, the faster your skills regenerate. And then if we look at Dark Lord, it is just all about high attack. And in particular, this one's interesting. Get the target below 50% and then really deal damage to them. So you want to come out of the gate running with high skill crit. Hope to get lucky and finish them off really quick also where the profit is more about keeping them alive, stunning them so they can't attack you back. In particular, magicians work well against warriors and they want to stop the warrior from reflecting, counterattacking because it's stunned and then deal skill crit. On the gear here, you're gonna want stun and skill crit. Those are the top two you're gonna want. Stun and then skill crit. Stun is non-negotiable. It's difficult to find in the game. You can't find it everywhere, so you need to get it where you can. Get it on every single piece of gear, and then skill crit, evasion, crit rate, regeneration, but skill crit as number two. Look at the different skills that you can have here. And first thing you're gonna need, there's two. You're gonna need blitz just to cancel out the enemy because you're gonna be immune to damage for three seconds at the start of battle, and so are they. So you gotta have blitz. You gotta have clone strike because they're gonna have a clone, you're gonna want a clone. If one of you have clone and or blitz and the other doesn't, that person's gonna win the matchup. It's gonna be really, really hard to overcome. Now, you're gonna want star array. It's going to increase your skill crit. The way you get that is in the family brawl shop. Go into exchange here and it's over here. Save up and get it. This should be your first purchase. You are absolutely going to need it. Then you're gonna have a relic that's gonna help out with it. And we're gonna continue to look at skills. Let's look at two others, that three others that you could use. So you can use Heroic Descent. It's 10 seconds, it summons a hero. And th there is a relic that will help both clone and this at the same time. It also attacks for 10 seconds which is seven seconds longer than the Blitz immunity. You are also going to look at Dazzled because it's going to stun and that's gonna help regenerate all your other skills. Then there is Meteoric Fall and that increases your skill damage by 30% for five seconds. Now, I have to admit that these three are sort of not good for the Magic class, not yet. I think that there's going to be a new PAL that it's going to be released that's gonna complement them. Once that's released, we could start to look at it more. Let's look at the pals. So which ones are you gonna want? You're gonna want Hipster Tortoise, and it's gonna give you more life when you're down at 50%. That's gonna be very important. Now this is the most important pal you're gonna need. It's going to affect, increase your stun duration by 30% and it's gonna deal extra damage while you're stunning them. So you absolutely need that. Now, this is what I mean. There's an event banana, an event guardian. Those are for archers and warriors. And then we go here to the treasure dragon, which you're gonna use by the way, but it's not an event pal. And then on the other side, the deer, you can also use this as resistance, but it's not event. So there ne there's going to be something that's gonna drop, probably this coming event, for magic and then it may increase those three pink skills. It may have an effect that helps them. But let's deal with what we know right now. The other pets you're really gonna look at, this one, Fiery Tail, increase overall skill damage. You can also look at Warlord Hydra Sprite. I think this is a must. I think you need to regenerate your skills when you are using magic because your magic, your skills are basically magic. And the other one that you can look at is going to be the Kung Fu Master for HP regeneration. I would only use this if you're lacking some of those higher pink skills. I'd replace this once I started to get all of them. On the statue, you're gonna look for critical resistance, critical damage, and 
skill, damage. Those are the three you're gonna look at and try and roll triple S's, obviously. The, all three are important. You really have to play around with which one works for you, depending on what you got on your gears. Unfortunately, there is no stun on there. So that's why stun is so important on the gear because there's just no other sources for it. Mount, advanced mount. Right here, this is a must. You're gonna have to get this in the rush shop. The best mount going right now for mages, and it's gonna be a must have. Artifact, there's no if ands about it. You are going to want Eye of the Raven. Use a second skill every 20 seconds, 18 seconds if you level it up. If you don't have it, this one is good also. It does act to confuse the opponents and make them attack themselves. All of these are gonna be better than the basic artifact. And let's look at the talents here. This is going to be uh, very expensive. going to spend money on this game. Spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. Get up to 35% off on all in-game purchases. Use the promo code MUSHROOM5. You can see me doing it in the background. And if you'd like to do so, the information how to do so is in the description to the video. Save money. Put more in your pocket. So if we look here, you are going to do both of these bottom zones on sorcery. And the reason why is they both have skill crit and then stun duration. And this one has skill damage and stun duration. So these are going to be your two paths right here. I'll mark them. And you're going to want to go there for the two different uh, skills. Basically, if I was a Dark Lord, I would go right because I want more skill crit and try to finish him off fast and get him under 50%. If I am, in, if I am the Prophet and I'm going to be stunning more, I'm going to want more skill damage, which is going to be consistent damage while he's stunned. Now, both they're both going to be 1A and 1B, and you're going to have to spend to get them done. Relics. No if ands, abouts here. You have no negotiation. You have to take the demon mask for skill crit. This one is very flexible. You could do the thunder kite. You could get extra damage. Or you can look at which pals you're going to be using and go from there and just kind of pick one. Over here, you have two options. You have the magic box, depending what you have and if you're going to use the deer. If not, you're going to be using that Alpine Fox, and this is the one you need to use, Metaphoric Crystal. Over here, you wanna go all the way to the right and use the Resistance Book, the Stone Writ Tome. On the store, this is the necklace, you want Storm Necklace. It's going to help out your summoned units, your clones. This one is sort of uh, up in the air, increase the ability of those three new skills. And then over here, you want Stellar Statue. It's going to increase Star Array. If you don't have Star Array, then by all means, use Time or Crystal and increase the uh, Meteor or the Dazzle. And the final area to focus on in Souls, Soul Fusion, is Eye of the Abyss, Critical Damage Bonus and Skill Crit Bonus. This is what you're going to want in the Magic. And unfortunately, there is nothing in here with stun so it's one of those things that's very difficult to get in the game that's basically the build that we're looking at for magic let me know in the comments what you guys think again stun is most important then skill crit and like subscribe leave a comment